thanks a lot for your interest in Abed. In this first video, we're going to give you a brief overview of Abed One Pop. In Abed One Pop, there is one finite population of agents. These agents are explicitly and individually represented in the model. And from time to time, each individual agent is matched with other agents to play a two-player symmetric game. You probably know what this means, but just in case, let's look at a very quick example. Imagine you have $1,000, and you may keep them for yourself, or else you may wish to transfer them to another person's bank account. For some unknown and beautiful reason, if you make the transfer, money doubles. How great is that, eh? And the other person thus receives $2,000. The other person is exactly in the same situation as you. Okay, so if we want to model this setting using the framework of game theory, we have to identify the players in the game, who in this case are the other person and you. We also have to identify the actions that each of the players may take. And in this case, I guess is you can either transfer the money or keep it. And lastly, we have to also determine a preference order over outcomes for each player. And, I mean, for simplicity and possibly unrealistically, let us assume that players only care about money, and dollars accurately reflect their preferences. So let's use dollars as utility or fitness ju just in this case. The game theory doesn't do that usually. Okay, so if you transfer the money and the other person transfers the money, you both end up with $2,000, great. If you transfer the money and the other person keeps their money, you end up with nothing and the other, the other person ends up with $3,000. The $1,000 he initially had and the $2,000 he has received from you. The opposite situation is shown in the bottom left cell. And finally, if both of you guys decide to keep the money, you end up with just the initial $1,000. If you know game theory, you may have realized this is a version of the prisoner's dilemma. If you have, congratulations, well done. Anyway, going back to a bet, our agents are going to play a two-player symmetric game with other agents, like, like the one we've just seen. At any point in time, each agent has a pure strategy. In our example, this would be either keep or transfer the money. And finally, agents in a bet have the opportunity to revise their strategy from time to time. How do they do that? Well, a bet implements many protocols. One example would be look at a random agent and if his payoff is greater than yours, copy his strategy. Another possibility would be test all strategies and select the one that gave you the highest payoff. And what do we do then? Well, we're interested in studying the behavior of this population of agents as time goes by. That is, given a certain revision protocol, will people tend to transfer the money to their peers and thus have a nice cooperating and wealthy environment? Or on the other hand, will agents tend to keep their money for themselves, wasting the beautiful opportunity of doubling money in each transfer. Are you interested in modeling this kind of situation? I bet you are. So join me in the next video and I promise it will be a lot of fun.